Hey guys, this is Bomb speaking here and in this video I'm going to show you how to wall properly. So it doesn't matter if you're Zerg, Protoss or Terran, we all did some terrible walls in the past in which the enemy managed to get inside and then you die right away. One example as Terran is this one. You think that the wall is closed, but actually it isn't. Or maybe you're a Protoss player and you build this wall and then all of a sudden, oh, oh, what the hell, look at that Grandmaster wall right there. Or perhaps you are a Zerg player and you see that mass Zergling run by coming in with your Overlord and then you go there and you build your wall and then all of a sudden, oh, oh, oh my god, I thought I had closed that wall. So the big question is, what exactly happens that sometimes you build a wall and it works and sometimes you build it and it doesn't? Well, the reason that you still struggle with that is because you do not know yet how the building grid works. So the first thing you like to do is make sure you activate the grid on your options. So the first thing you need to understand is that there is this grid on the ground. The orange squares is where you want to put your buildings touching those squares. It will only block the enemy from passing by when you have a connection between your building and any orange square. If they are not touching those squares, units will be able to pass through. So there is one single exception in that, which is, if you position your buildings in a diagonal position, units will be able to pass by. So that's pretty much it guys, make sure you test this technique in the Legacy Unit Tester, just so you can get the grasp of that technique. Thanks for watching guys, if you want to learn more, you can book coaching sessions with me through the link below. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.